you lovelies, Jennifer Ziliotto here. I'm back for another Style Fix video. Thank you for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk about styling color, especially as we're going into the fall season and how do you dress in a monochromatic way versus color blocking. Now, this may seem like a really easy sort of intuitive thing, but I don't think it is for everybody. A friend of mine asked me the other day, Jennifer, you're always talking about monochromatic. How do you do it? And especially if you don't wanna do an all black outfit, cause that's like the basic monochromatic, we all have done it and it's super easy. But if you wanna introduce color, how do you do it? So that is what we are going to talk about in today's Style Fix video. So when I was a younger woman living in Paris in my 20s and sort of kind of defining my style at that time, I remember one day I was on my way to work. I was on Ile Saint-Louis and I saw this woman and she was probably my age now and she was wearing a all cream outfit. It was a cooler late fall day and she was wearing all cream, including her stockings that were a little bit wooly, this cream skirt, cream sweater, soft brown leather jacket, and a brown leather boot. And it looked incredible. And after seeing her, it was kind of like my eyes were open to this idea of monochromatic and how chic and simple it can be. And then I really noticed that it's kind of like a Parisian staple to do a monochromatic outfit that isn't necessarily black. So after that, it was my mission to adopt this look. And I think that's why I still talk about it so much is because for me, it really is one of those simple chic things that is always gonna look stylish and is always gonna look classic and timeless. And once you have a few building blocks in your wardrobe, it becomes really easy to do. And when I say building blocks in your wardrobe, what I mean by that is kind of like your basic sort of color palette that you love. For me, it is, I tend to do more of a taupe and a really sort of subdued kind of color. I love that as a monochromatic. And of course, I love a basic all black outfit. Who doesn't? So easy, so great. And I think the biggest challenge when we're talking about monochromatic is footwear. Having a black boot, or a black shoe is great, but some I don't find it the easiest way to style a monochromatic look. Doing footwear that has some kind of print to it, some kind of embellishment to it, that is a softer color, like a soft brown or a burgundy or a gray, is a great investment piece if you don't have something like that in your wardrobe. So for my first outfit, I've got an all khaki green outfit on with a leopard print slide that is a very similar tone to the khaki green, a brown bag that is also a very similar tone, and then to brighten this whole look, I've added in a silk scarf in a predominantly green color just for that little extra touch of color and flair. So for my next outfit, I've got an all orange outfit on. And even though the, the two tones of orange are not exactly the same, it really works together. I've added in a brown bag and a brown boot that are the same kind of tone. And then a really simple bracelet that is also a very similar orange tone, although not exactly the same. And in this final beige monochromatic outfit, I kept those leopard print slides on because it obviously works with the beige pant. And to add a little bit of interest and texture, I've added in a print underneath the sweater, a gold chain on top, and then finalize the outfit with a black bag pulls everything in together and I think looks really, really great. So when it comes to color blocking, I think that this is a time where you can be really playful, you can be really creative and have a lot of fun. For myself, I love wearing color and I think I really respect color because of my artistic background and what it can do to elevate your mood when you're wearing it but not everybody feels comfortable wearing color, especially a bright color. So there's a few simple little things to keep in mind that will make it really easy if this is something new for you and something that you do wanna try. 
In this first outfit, I really did a more is more kind of look. I've got a dark denim jean on with this mustard yellow sweater. Yellow and blue are always going to look good together because they really are kind of a complementary color to one another. I added in a black sandal, that same bright green scarf from earlier that has some gold tones in it that pick up the gold of the sweater, a little red bag, and then a orangey red cuff. There is a lot of color going on here, but it all really works together because the palette is similar. In this next outfit, I'm wearing green and magenta, two really opposite colors. But because green and violet are complementary colors on the color wheel, they really work well together. And then I wanted to soften the look with the basket clutch and the leopard slide and add the one last pop of color with the orange cuff. So for my final outfit, I wanted to show you a color blocking that was a darker, in case you're a little bit worried about doing a lot of color. Here, what adds interest to this outfit is all the texture that's going on, from the necklace, to the purse, to the sandals. So that is it, my lovelies. I hope you liked my ideas. I hope you're feeling inspired to get some color out this season. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, pass it along to a friend, leave a comment down below. You know I love hearing from you. And of course, for more style ideas and more inspiration, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.